Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy if you're new here. Initially for this week, I wanted to post my Q&A, but I decided against it because the new Chanel 22A collection is out. It is officially launched on June the 10th in Canada, and I wanted to go through the collection with you guys. So let's get started with handbags. I know all of you are mostly interested in handbags first and foremost and there are many cute ones this season because it is the pre-fall season we're seeing a lot of fabrics such as velvet there's a lot of really nice colors this season there's this beautiful emerald green this darker gray shade yellows and burgundies there's a lot of very pretty seasonal colors but we'll just look at what they have on the website so let's just check out all the handbags first and just give it a general overview the mini messenger bag, I really like it. I think it's really cute. I think price point, it is what it is. I like that it is in this shiny calf skin. Of course, I haven't seen this in person, but I'm hoping that it is similar to maybe the 22 bags calf skin or, or maybe the one on the 19 whenever they do it in calf skin. What I like about this is that the shape is still has rounded edge, but has that classicness to it. I like the quilted. Um, texture as well as the strap. I really like that the strap has a little bit of those CC details that really adds to the bag and the couple of compartments give you extra sort of organization without being too overly compartmentalized and yeah it just looks really really cute although it is a seasonal bag I do see this as being a very sort of classic shape that can be worn all year round. Of course, with being a mini size, it would be challenging in terms of having to fit your things like playing Tetris. So just keep that in mind, but that is true for all mini bags anyway. So I quite like this one. I think it is really cute. This next one, I'm less interested. And of course, the price is a little higher with anything that's bejewel. Why I don't like this one as much, even though this is also another mini flap, is that it has this accordion style. And whenever there is this accordion style, things really don't fit very well and it doesn't fit very much, even though the dimension is quite similar to the previous one. But it's a cute bag and they come in all the seasonal colors, so that is entirely up to you. I will skip this vanity. I think, you know, They've been doing a lot of vanity cases, a lot of the seasonal vanity cases. I don't see anything special about this one aside from the fact that it is patent leather. Um, yeah, it's okay if you like it. I think the handle um, with that hardware is quite nice. But aside from that, I don't think it's that special. It's just very usual looking. Now this next one is what's on the runway this season a lot of the fluffy materials shearling lambskin it's cute if you're into that vibe um, but it's very seasonal and it's also um, very wintry so i would just skip it i think it's cute but that's pretty much it there's a lot of cute things out there and of course um it's a lot to pay for cute right same thing with this flap bag we'll just skip it the 19 in a fabric, if you find any 19 bag that you like in the print or in the color that you like, I always still recommend it. I um, will say it again, the Chanel 19 is absolutely one of my favorite Chanel bags. I'll never part with mine, but I also only need the one and I have the small size in lambskin. And the lambskin on the 19 um, is just really nicely treated, still very soft, but uh, very robust and um, you know quite resistant so I like the 19 a lot this vanity case on the other hand I really like I think there's something about the fact that even though it has zippers and you guys know with me zippers and I just don't jive all the time but I feel like there's nothing obstructing the zipper opening so although it is zipper um, it's still okay and I like the handle how it is um, I just like the the whole vibe of it maybe because it's color red I'm not sure um, I like how classic it looks the bottom also has the four feet with the uh, timeless CC stitch on the bottom 
and it just looks very very nice so for some reason I'm attracted to this one I don't know what it is I'm attracted to this one more than the other ones that I've seen so far and yeah if if I was really looking for a cute vanity bag I think this one I I would take the plunge if if I was really looking for one and I quite like this color this burgundy is gorgeous small flat bag so this one is also uh, a seasonal bag from this season and um, it's in green calf skin and it looks like it would be kind of that caviar yeah so it's basically the current season's caviar the seasonal caviar again Chanel does bring a lot of seasonal sort of flap looking bags so it's kind of that smaller size calf um, green uh, caviar and with medallions on the chain so if you like it you like it um, they are getting pricier and pricier so it's a matter of whether you find something that you absolutely love and can't go without but it's okay I, I like it we'll skip these evening bags because they are very expensive price upon request and as a very regular person I don't really need fancy bags like this but they're available for the big collectors and the VIPs of course um, this shilling lambskin it's okay I'm just gonna skip it it's quite expensive it doesn't really wow me at this point in my luxury journey I suppose or in my luxury collecting um, I am very picky at, as to what I choose so do I have anything similar to this yes I have a couple of mini handbags from Chanel the classic minis and for me that's more than enough so I don't need anything that's too similar to that so this one what's special about it is that the chain is bejeweled um, and also the texture of the leather is different it is a suede goat skin and it's a seasonal flap um, so if it's your vibe it's your vibe right I'm just gonna skip over these I'm not super interested same with these this is the same mini messenger bag as earlier but just in a different color i quite like this color although i don't do very well with beige tones it has to be a very specific beige or almost brown i need it to be more golden brown um, to suit me uh, this clutch is really really cute um, very useless but you know again for the collector for the big big collector okay mini boy chanel messenger bag is really hot this season and it is special because of the curved shape on the bottom now does it mean that i am attracted to it not at all i just noticed it on the runway and it is a cute look with the bag on but with anything that is rounded bottom especially when it's quite rounded not just slightly rounded but still quite you know angular this is really um, too rounded where placing your items is just going to be a challenge some things will be at an angle and it will just not fit as much as your normal shaped bag so I'm not interested in it but I do think it's cute it's a nice reinterpretation of, of the boy bag but yeah look at how rounded it is at the bottom so um yeah I'm just not uh I'm just not into needing to buy anything that is unique every single season just because it will never end and I'm just not interested in this bag although I think it is super cute um, but probably wouldn't fit as much as you think even though the bag may look like a decent size for a mini bag so if you're into it I would say go for the larger slightly larger size so this is the small size and we love I love this beautiful shade of darker gray this season it is very hot and they do do this I think they're making several handbags in this color this season uh, so this NI691 color code they're doing it in the 22 bag and the 19 bag and the top handle mini bag they're doing it in this boy bag of course I will also say that I tried this color in the 19 bag already this season and it's gorgeous I didn't take that one home but I did buy a bag this season which I will reveal later on I wanted to reserve it as my birthday month um, 
treat to myself so I'm not gonna reveal what I bought yet but those of you who follow my channel know my wish list and also you can just have a guess down below <laughs> and I'll reveal it when it's time to reveal it my birthday is next month so it's not quite there yet um, but yeah if I were to buy this newer shape Chanel boy I would go for a slightly larger size so maybe something like this also in a smaller size bag I really think that this color is gorgeous on the 22 I was less impressed by it although still very very nice this is another version of the small boy in just the velvet material also very beautiful honestly um for this bag i wouldn't care so much about the material necessarily although velvet is still a bit more delicate than the previous caviar i think for me um, if i was really really attracted to this bag i would just get this one this exact one um, yeah, I would I wouldn't do velvet. I honestly wouldn't I would just do this color and this Caviar, it's just so beautiful um, So it's only if you are into a velvet velvet is beautiful because it takes color so beautifully and it has It adds a different texture to your outfit right in terms of styling um, having different textures of fabric is important, but if you're not so you know if it's not so important to you like if you're more of a regular person and you know you do like your luxury but you don't need to have all then yeah i would just skip it personally okay this is the regular the classic boy bag in this gorgeous same uh dark color dark gray color it's just beautiful i I mean, if you love the boy bag, if you've been waiting for a boy bag and you do like this color, I, I would just go for this one. This this shade of gray is just the perfect color for the boy bag. It's just so gorgeous. And it also has that sheen um, on the green calfskin this season. So really, really gorgeous against this gold tone metal as well. I just love it. The price though, very, very high for a boy bag now. Um, not that it was ever cheap before, but yeah this one looks like the the classic um it looks like the old medium size to me i think it is 25 centimeter i think it is this mini bowling bag i actually quite like it i like that the zipper is a straight zipper and i like everything about it i like uh, the chain i like the little medallion on the chain they're doing a lot of the medallions since the the 22 bags debut and i like the zipper pull i like that this one you know is a smallish smallish little bowling bag so it's super cute um although it is in lambskin i think is as a mini size i'm okay with it i i quite like this bag i think if i was into a different like a completely different bag um i i, I don't know what it is about this bag i quite like it i really just do so yeah i i actually really love this one <laughs> but too many things on my wish list um i'm I didn't get this bag, just so you know, but I quite like it. Um, mini camera bags, right? Same concept, same sort of chain, really beautiful chain. Uh, this gorgeous calfskin, metallic calfskin, which also, in addition to all the beautiful colors we discussed earlier, they also have a wide range of metallic calfskin. There's the metallic blue, metallic silver, metallic gunmetal. Oh, just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And yeah, I quite like it. I mean, it's just a, a camera bag, very classic. Bucket bag. And it is also caviar, which is always nice. And um, yeah, definitely more robust. I quite like this. I quite like this. So for this season, I find that there's a lot of beautiful beautiful seasonal bags for me this season what i would pick personally is the 22 bag i also quite like the boy bag this season because of the gorgeous dark gray color but they also have other beautiful colors this season and the caviar just looks fantastic on it whether you go for the rounded edge or the classic boy that's what i would go for and then um uh, although they don't show the mini top handle handbag on the website for the current pre-fall season, uh, that would be another one I would go for. Of course, the prices have gone up a little bit. Aside from those, I'm actually quite interested in several of their seasonal bags, such as this mini messenger bag. I think it's super cute. 
if mini is too small for you, go for the size up. I also quite like this vanity case. I, I don't know what it is. I'm just really attracted to it. I quite like this one. Don't know what it is. I quite like this little uh, bowling bag. And also this little bucket bag. It's kind of more vertical. You see everything at a glance. It has a little drawstring. It's really cute for a seasonal bag, even the mini camera case. I quite like the, the seasonal chain and medallion detail this season. So those would be my pick for handbags. Now, if we were to move to jewelry, because there's not a ton to discuss, so we will probably go through jewelry quite quickly. For jewelry, I saw a few things that I like. They may have more in store, obviously, because they don't always, uh, they actually never post everything online. This is more just as a sort of like a preview, I suppose. And what you have in your store may be very different. Some things you may have, some things you may not have. So the first thing online is this necklace and I like it. I think this necklace is reasonably priced for what it is nowadays. And I, I quite like this one. I think it's super cute. Um, this pair of earrings, oh, it's nice. It's quite nice, uh, very sort of cute and um, still okay price, I suppose. This necklace I also like. I think if you're into the Chanel, especially uh, since the 2019 spring summer collection, the Chanel logo has been made popularized. And so this season, they're doing the lacquered version in this necklace. They're also doing it in the actual earrings, but lacquered in black and white, which is stunning in my opinion. Uh, so I quite like this necklace as well as the matching earrings. If I didn't have my earrings already, I would probably try to get these earrings personally. I don't know how, them, how much they cost because it's not on their site but I quite like that one. Aside from that, everything else, I'm sort of like, it's all right. It's not like blowing my mind or anything, but this ring is quite nice. I like the classic kind of lion um, and then the CC charm on the mouth of the lion. I think that's very stunning and very representative of Chanel. I also quite like these earrings. They are very expensive though, but just really nice detailing with all the lions stacked together with the drop pearl, which is very, very stunning. Just too expensive, actually. Um, I like this brooch. They did it in the brooch. They did it in the necklace, as we saw earlier. I wonder if they did it in a choker as well, or maybe if that necklace can be a choker. I'm not sure. I know they also did it in the belt, which is stunning if you missed the chain belt from last season, then get this one because it's just stunning with this as the charm, as the main charm instead of the CC. I think it's stunning. It's the same price as the last year's, sorry, the last season's one anyway. And um, yeah, I think for costume jewelry, there isn't a ton that I'm as interested this this uh, season. Plus. Anything that I'm interested, they tend to be a bit pricier, such as these earrings. I think they're gorgeous. And the number 19 is very representative. The last year for Karl Lagerfeld's legacy. But um, yeah, these earrings are gorgeous, just a bit too pricey for me. Um, yeah, this brooch is nice. I mean, just, you know, they, they have a lot of these kinds of brooches all the time. Um, but yeah, aside from that, yeah, I like these earrings, the number 19, very representative. These are more cute, right? A little bit smaller. Let's see. Yeah, this choker is beautiful too. So I do have a choker from a few seasons back, which is this one. I love, love, love this choker because I love that it has the pearl and as well as the chain detail, which is really really iconic for Chanel and it's just gorgeous but uh, if you haven't gotten yourself a choker then always just keep an eye out I think this one is gorgeous too um, yeah I, I still would prefer mine but I'm just saying sometimes chokers are just so hard to come around 
Uh, there's this one. I think this one is quite nice and very reasonably priced for chokers. Chokers can get very, very expensive. This one is actually quite reasonably priced. A little bit more simple than mine, but still gorgeous and will make the impact as the, a choker for sure. Yeah, this one is just more simple and quite beautiful, like very classic. So I would get this one if I didn't have one already. This ring is cute too, just very simple, lacquer detail. And then, um, what else do we have here? I'm just skipping a lot of the things that I'm less interested. Yeah, these are just cute little earrings. And yeah, I think these ones would be popular this year as well. They always make studs that are seasonal, that are a little bit on the lower price range. So these are cute uh, with no rhinestones. For those of you who are uh, worried about the rhinestones falling, this is um, an option. These are super cute, but they are very pricey. Oh my gosh. I just... It's just getting too pricey nowadays. Yeah, this choker is super cute too. It has that kind of like... I don't know how to describe this. Is it kind of like an evil eye? It's quite interesting, right? I think this would be stunning on, but just a little pricier. Um, there's a necklace version. This could be interesting, I think, right? Don't you guys agree? Anyway, if you were eyeing anything um, in their in their costume jewelry, what would you go for? Let me know down below. Oh my goodness, this is... This is a more intricate choker, I suppose, but so expensive, 3,000 and plus. So with taxes is well over 3,500. Very, 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 very expensive. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for things like this. I love my costume jewelry, but sometimes it's about finding the classic items to go with what you already have. So sometimes you can layer, sometimes you can wear alone. So right now I'm wearing my, um, the heart line from i think this is from 20 21k these are from 21k love 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 um so yeah costume jewelry i'm a little less impressed this season but there are still a couple of things that i am attracted to definitely the bow detail brooch um item or pendant uh, even the belt and as well as in terms of uh, just a very simple classic choker, that one that um, we saw that was $905 pre-tax, that one's gorgeous and very, very classic. Uh, but aside from that, nothing that was really, really wowing me. The smaller the goods are just as pricey nowadays, they're not like what they used to be. I think the prices have gone up so much that even smaller the goods, such as this walk, is the price of what it used to be a handbag so really just pick and choose this is a really gorgeous burgundy color although red is not the best auspicious color to get in a in a wallet just so you know belt bag they are still very popular the nano bags but pick and choose because they always have something new and you know if you've already got a couple then don't bother with more because these things will get in and out of style. I still love mine and I will always keep mine, but aside from that, I don't think that it's in your best interest to buy so many, right? Because I've made that mistake myself. This is a gorgeous little nano bag, but again, it will mostly just fit your cards and maybe a lip balm and you know, not much more, maybe a, a single key, uh, and it's very expensive for what it is. So find one or two that you love if you're into the trend, and just as long as you love it and you're okay with it being trendy now and not later, as long as you like the item, having one or two is completely fine. But, uh, but other than that, don't even bother because it's really not worth the money anymore if you're being very budget conscious. So yeah, let's go through what they have here. Um, I'll just pinpoint the ones that I feel like are so interesting. Cute little lipstick case, wow. 
very bougie. <laughs> Personally, I wouldn't pay this kind of price, but for someone who's always needing to bring some sort of lipstick and they want this bag as a statement piece on themselves or even as an accessory uh, in addition to their actual handbag why not i think it's wow these multi clutches lv has done that too yes it's just cute i, I mean you 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 are not buying these because the price is good there's nothing about value for these things aside from the novelty factor they're cute they're, they're novelty and it's something that you wouldn't see everybody carry so you're buying it for that reason so i love it for that reason but aside from that i don't think it's it's not that worth it <laughs> moving on oh my goodness this is wild Okay, this is my first impression looking at the small of the goods. I actually haven't looked at the small of the goods yet, and I'm just blown away at some of these ridiculous items. Wow, a collar AirPod Pro case. This is so extra. I think having the necklace version is already so extra, and this is just over the top. I mean, there is always someone who will like it, I'm sure. <laughs> it's just so crazy to me, though. I, I wouldn't buy this, okay? I, I would stop at this mini clutch with handle. That's the most. If I had a lot of money to spend and I really just didn't know where to spend it, I would get this because I think this is super cute and still very fashion, but the collar with AirPods, <laughs> no. Okay, I'll stop at there. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. Okay, mini bucket bag with chain. So I guess this one is, ooh, this one is small. 11 centimeter height, I think. It's too tiny. It wouldn't, it might fit this mini phone maybe because I just upgraded my, my uh, iPhone to the mini 13. So maybe, maybe it'll fit this and it will kind of stick out a little bit. But aside from that, just get the regular bucket bag version that we saw earlier. It's slightly taller. It's going to be a lot more user friendly. And when the trend goes, your bag is still going to be, it's going to be mini, but it's not going to be a nano bag. So that's what I would do because, I mean, unless you like this one, of course, go for it. Um, if I were to choose, I would just go with the actual handbag version. I just want to look at this because these things are definitely super novelty. I'll never really buy these things myself. Um, but actually for something novelty, this novelty, I think the price is reasonable because sometimes it can be so crazy, like over 10,000, whatever price, right? Their, their prices are always all over the places sometimes. Mm, the vanity with chain. Yes, I bought a version of this when they first came out with the top handle. You know what? I quite like this one. I don't know what it is about this chunky handle. It's just... Maybe it looks vintage. I think maybe that's why I love it. It looks kind of vintage. It's quite cute. I like it. Okay, I've seen this all over Instagram and I'm trying to see what's the deal with this. I think it's more of a... It's kind of like a walk slash phone holder on chain so it has that sort of vibe it almost looks like it's a wallet that will fit your phone um okay i i see i see would i ever get it probably not i would just pay a bit more and get the regular bag like just get an actual bag that's what i would do vanity with chain same thing just very very tiny and at these prices i would just skip I think when I started buying my micro bags, they were they were starting to like increase their prices quite rather quickly. And I think at this point in time, it's just too much. So really, really pick and choose. I think something like this is reasonable. This clutch with chain, the 255 with several compartments. So if you have a mini phone such as this one, it will fit. This is the whole reason why I decided to go with a mini phone as an upgrade instead of going for a same size, bigger phone. Beautiful. I love the encrusted crystals on it. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But just so expensive for a nano version of the of a very 
like very very novelty but so pretty the color is just amazing the current seasons the current seasons emerald green is just so amazing yeah wallet on chains there's always a market for it if you're into the so black patent leather this is for you um i i say get it if if you're if you don't have one and you really want one and you you like the current season's color or texture then just go for it because it's one and done right buy one and done so the classic card holders there's hands down still one of the best sort of entry level pieces to get um, especially if you tend to just carry card holders as your wallet. I don't even have a proper wallet anymore. All my wallets are card holders. So for me, they are beautiful pieces to buy that doesn't break the bank. And you really only need one. I'm using the gold croc emboss one from the 19A collection, the beautiful Egyptian collection, the, one of the last collections that Karl Lagerfeld uh, has designed so I say go for the card holders they're still worth it they are you know doesn't matter what price increases they have they're still in the reasonable price range and you get a beautiful piece of luxury I would go for them even the card flat ones are amazing um, but to me the flat version is just, is enough I, I don't normally need the extra bulk of the flat version it doesn't fit that much more to be honest to me anyway to me they don't uh, maybe for you is different this boy clutch with chain i quite like if you were going for a nano bag i like that this one has a couple of compartments it has a zip pocket in the back that's so cool and the price to be fair is very reasonable because when i bought my micro bag such as this one that i love 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 it was already just under three thousand so this is really reasonable with all the price increases and I've gotten mine a while ago already so I think that's where we are with the small leather goods you just have to pick and choose find something that you love if you're into the trend um, look at the prices look at whether that item will fit your lifestyle and just go for it if you feel like it's something that you love this one is cute actually I love this one I love this one because the chain detail is very amazing on this one. We've seen it on the handbags. I love that this one is caviar. So if you're worried about lambskin, go for caviar. And this is a very decent size. It will not fit phones for sure, but this one is a very similar sort of dimension as mine, I'm sure. So I, I love this one. It's quite nice. What else do we have here? Phone holder with chain. Okay, so this is cute it's cute i like it um i will say as a first impression of the small leather goods department there's a lot to choose from this season a lot of very like cool designs different te textures colors um price ranges are all over the place so just find something that's reasonable maybe it is a strategic move from um from chanel to do more of these cutesy things and you know because they are still considered small leather goods they are able to sort of bring down bring down the price a bit just because they can't charge you the same as a bag right it just wouldn't make sense nobody would buy them i'm so surprised that they have so many le small leather goods sometimes they have so little to look at love this one the, it's basically the 19 style with the 19 chain handle, um, but as a wallet on chain. Really, really cute. Oh, goodness. I really would love, <laughs> I would love a Chanel phone holder, although it's so bougie and very much money not well spent. But I will say that this is so cool. I would love to have this. <laughs> will I ever buy it? No, I wouldn't but um it is just so darn cool because having a chain on your phone is so amazing for several reasons when you go to events 
uh, when you want to be hands-free and still be able to carry your nano bags so that you can just have your phone still with you. Those are the main reasons why I love having a phone case with a chain or with a rope attached to it. Let's look at uh, the other accessories because uh, as I said, there was the belt that I knew um, was beautiful and that I thought uh, was worth investing in one if you don't have one already. I love my chain belts. The current season's camellias are beautiful. Um, but belts to me, let's just go straight into belts. Belts to me are where you really get more of the cost per wear. So, ooh, this one is cool. A little pricey, but really cool. Um, let's see here. I just want to go straight to the one that I would be interested. This one is cool too. Just the, is that a hedgehog or is that a lion head? I don't know. I can't quite see here. I think it is the lion head because why would they have hedgehog? But this is also very classic and very simple. This one is also very nice. Very classic with the Chanel. So a little bit more loud than the earlier one, but still very, very classic and you know, with accessories, they really add to your outfit. You don't really need to buy the very, very expensive ones. These are not cheap by any means, but they are on the cheaper, lower, more reasonable price range for Chanel. So I would get something like this as a classic piece. Actually, I really like this. I really like this. Oh my goodness. I really like this. Okay. Black and white always gets me. And this is the one that I mentioned. So they have it in a couple of colorway online. If I didn't have any of my chain belts, I would go for this one. It's so cute. I love the same chain detail around the, the belt, but the front this time, instead of just a regular CC charm, it's this bow charm, which is actually more intricate. And they just, it's the same price as last year's belt. Uh, sorry, not, la not last year, last season's belt. So interesting that to me, this has more to it and they charge them the same money. So it's just very, very interesting to me. In contrast to the earlier belt and this belt, I, I don't see that much more going into this belt, although the price is almost double. So you see, sometimes it just doesn't make sense to me. And I'm, I really don't know how they go about pricing these things sometimes uh it just makes no sense so you really have to be a savvy customer i really like this camellia oh my goodness it's so expensive but i really really did like this camellia it's very nice three thousand extra yeah all right all right i think that is it for our accessories let's take a look at shoes and then we'll finish with ready to wear there's definitely some ready to wear that i'm interested in, and i'm not sure if they're ever really worth it even with sales sometimes and of course with their sales things are limited it only happens twice a year and it may or may not be in your size so with shoes i saw a couple that i liked i'm gonna skip over these sort of Mary Jane's, although I quite like the look of this. I wish I can pull this off. The height is a bit too much, but so classic looking. I wish I could wear these. They're beautiful. And, um, you know, shoes, sometimes they are a bit pricier than normal, and sometimes they are a bit lower than normal. So I think those, um, those open-toed, I would call them Mary Jane's, are kind of reasonable in my opinion um okay so these are the sandals that i saw that i quite liked i think for me um these are always gonna be you know you can pull them out every year in the summer they are very classic simple enough but classic to go with everything i like the big cc logo in front it's not too much i mean it's it's a lot it, it's a logo right but chanel is about fashion chanel is very fashion forward so I don't personally think that it's too much. It's just one CC logo, but although it, it is bold. So I personally love these sandals. They also have it in the black with the camellia, but I prefer, I prefer the CC one. I much prefer the CC one that we just saw. These ones are cool. Oh, so reasonably priced. Again, I wish I can pull these off, but I can't. They also have some really nice boots. 
these are really really cute ankle boots so cute very classic looking almond toe shape and also remember guys i did a early reveal of the 22a um haul so the rain boots which i bought came back as a rev item so it's not technically a new item but it is re um re-released in the current season so if you haven't seen my 21 sorry 22a unboxing i will have it linked up here and of course as i said earlier i did buy a few more things from the current collection after the launch so stay tuned for that i'm not going to reveal it right away although i may reveal one of the items which chanel shoes i personally find that they're their slingbacks, their pumps, their more feminine ballerinas, they don't suit me. Uh, not because they don't look nice on the feet, but just that the pointed area with the almond toe, it doesn't work for my feet shape, so it actually irritates me a lot. And therefore, I've never been able to buy any of their feminine shoes, but any of their casual shoes, such as their runners, their sneakers, even some of their boots, like the fall boots, the, the rain boots, um they're amazing and i do have a pair of their dad sandals which i have yet to wear but the weather is more permitting now so i will whip them out very soon and i will report back on those so yeah for me casual shoes are like chanel for, casual shoes are the forte uh, for me i think that they are very very comfortable and very ergonomic and just uh, a bit more well thought out than their feminine shoes which are very very uncomfortable and it really depends on your feet shape and how you walk i suppose because i don't understand why some people can pull them off and some don't i'm one of those that can't uh, again these are dad sandals they are just like that you know fluffy version so cool price wise not much different from the classic a bit more but you know they're cool and if you're into a dad sandal and you want to get like the winter version of it get this one so cool meals yeah these are cute i love that little cc just like one logo very classic <laughs> chunky sandals oh i like them i actually quite like them it's a little bit more feminine than the dad sandal that we saw earlier but still sort of very casual i quite like them it's still very pricey though they're sandals they're dad sandals it's so pricey. Is it harder to make a dance sandal? I'm not so sure because I own a couple of their sneakers and their sneakers are not cheap, but they're still more reasonable than their dance sandals. I don't understand this. Um, these pairs I have, but just not in this print, but I do have the same design of this and I find them comfortable, although I haven't started wearing them yet because I keep wearing the leather version. So yeah, in terms of shoes, a couple of interesting ones um shoes are very personal so you really have to go try them on now let's finish off with our this video is getting very very long with our ready to wear which as i said earlier i've seen so many cute pieces on the runway i wish that ready to wear was a little bit more affordable unfortunately it isn't so uh, not only do you have to pick and choose but you probably wouldn't uh, I probably wouldn't be a, a very big collector of their ready-to-wear pieces. It's really like, yeah, it's it's very steep. The prices are very steep. But just let's just go through uh, some of the ready-to-wear that I saw that I was really, really interested. So we're just going to scroll through some of the general general looks. And I'm just going to kind of go into more of the ones that I thought was really really nice so this jacket amazing i'm sure it costs an arm and a leg but i love the look of this classic jacket just that classic chanel jacket look oh goodness very very beautiful and of course these are all the accessories uh, how they styled this jacket but let's just let's just look at it oh actually it says that it's a coat I didn't realize that. I thought it was just a jacket. Okay, so this is the coat version. Sorry about that, but um, you guys see where I'm coming from though. Like it has that very nicely tailored pockets and buttons, very classic Chanel tweed black jacket look. 
<laughs> as the top of the coat, I suppose. And it's just gorgeous. It's, it's just such a classic piece. So yeah, that was the first one that I was really, really attracted to, although I didn't realize it was a coat. Okay, this blouson in pearled tweed is very expensive. I did not know it was going to be 13250 pre-tax. Oh my goodness, it must be all the embroidered uh, pearl and uh, jewels on the jacket. Oh my gosh. Okay, never mind. Never mind it, guys. Uh, we are just not even going to consider that at all. <laughs> I really did like it, though. Um, there is also this one that I quite liked on the runway. I thought it was such a... Um, kind of retro, kind of retro, kind of interesting. I love that this the sleeve detail has all the all the loudness to it, but still, of course, very expensive whenever you have these intricate, intricated um, pearls and beads and stuff. They will charge you an arm and a leg, and I'm guessing it's because it's all handmade and such. So almost 20, I mean, over $20,000 with taxes probably around 2200 um, with taxes here in Canada. So, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. You see what I mean with uh, ready to wear? I love, I love them, but they are just so insanely priced. Okay, so this one, we have this gorgeous, gorgeous coat on top. That's not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in that cardigan. Where is it? Oh, here. Okay, still expensive. 7650 but I love this cardigan. I think it's, it's quite loud, but, you know, I like the cardigan. I just really like it. It's just so cool and um, can easily be thrown on uh, in a colder day. There's another cardigan that I loved that I wanted to take a look. That one, I'm sure, is going to be a sellout this season. Yes, this one. So it comes in two different colors, the burgundy and the gray. They are exactly the same cardigan. Um, it's just styled differently. I know that this cardigan is a little bit more um, reasonably priced, actually, which is kind of amazing, if you ask me. That's the... These are the type of things that, you know... That's how you have to be. That's why you have to be savvy with uh, luxury shopping because you you think that it's going to be expensive, but sometimes it's not. And sometimes you think that it's not going to be as expensive, but it really is. So I love this cardigan. I think it's stunning, 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 stunning. They have it in this color as well. But for some reason, um, because she pulled up the sleeves and she kind of cinched it in, it looks like there's more to it and i also love this gorgeous burgundy almost purple color on her so i love this cardigan love 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 and of course she has tons of beautiful accessories and it works well with her skin tone which i would think that it's more similar to my skin tone there was another piece that was quite stunning in this collection which is this cardigan this little blouse with um really chunky buttons three really chunky buttons and also the sleeves are a bit more balloon shaped this one is a bit more simple i think um sometimes simple is better because it's easier to style although you do have those big buttons getting in the way uh, i quite like the one with the cc's all over that one's gorgeous and i like that it's cashmere it will be great for the winter months so yeah in terms of ready to wear um I'm not going to comment on all of the pieces. It's a beautiful collection to look at. Beautiful, gorgeous, jewel toned. And there's definitely a couple of piece of interest, which I'm sure will be a sellout. And I love a lot of the beautiful, gorgeous, jewel tone color. I think if I were to buy anything, I would probably go for a bag or two personally. And I quite love the cardigan. Um, the one with the falling cc's and also in terms of smaller the goods although I don't need any I think there's a lot to choose from 
costume jewelry, maybe that one choker. I love the belt with the bow detail. I think that one's super cute, although I already have two chain belts, so I probably should not buy any more. But that one would be my pick as well. So yeah, let me know if you're eyeing anything. Let me know what you think of the collection. Um, at this point, price is... it is what it is, so you just have to pick and choose. Like I said many, many, many seasons ago, and it just keeps being more true than ever. And so, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, definitely don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you back. Also, you can support me further by being a channel member. We have a lot of fun discussing topics that are outside of our normal content. And then you can also buy me a coffee if you wish. Um, it's like treating me to a coffee. I'll have all the links down below. Thanks so much. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.